Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a super cute Valentine's Day teddy bear tumbler using some double-sided adhesive sheets to apply glitter. And these colors from the glitter guide, we've got Latte, Eleven, Sands of Time, and Cerberus, which will be sprinkled on with my first coat of epoxy since it is a chunky mix. Super pretty. And I do like to go ahead and print out my layout of my images just so I have it to reference when I'm applying my decals. So I'm going to show you how I get that set up to cut and I'll be back. So right now I have my bear files pulled up. I have one little guy bear with a bow tie and one girl with her bow in her hair. And I'm going to cut out the pieces that I want to glitter in different colors. I'm going to cut these out of the Silhouette double-sided adhesive paper. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to separate these into the pieces that I'm going to cut on vinyl later and what I'm going to cut with the adhesive. These are all going to be cut out of the double-sided adhesive, and then I'm going to use glitter to make them the colors that I want. So I'm going to do the same thing with this bear. So we're on our cut screen, and right now I'm only going to use this section here. I only want to cut these out of the double-sided adhesive. Everything else I'm going to be cutting in vinyl. So I'm just going to go through and select No Cut. these and I already have my paper loaded onto my mat it's just up in the top corner and we're going to go into our material and you actually have the double-sided adhesive option so we're going to select that and I always just to force of habit turn on the overcut setting this allows the machine to pick up your blade when it's turning instead of staying down into the paper or the vinyl, which helps prevent um, tearing and it's really good for intricate fonts and stuff, but I just, I'm in the habit to do it every single time so that way I just never forget. So we're going to cut this out and then I'm going to go back and load in my vinyl colors and cut those out and I will be back to glitter the cup. Alright, I have all my pieces cut out and separated. For each bear, I have the girl bear and the boy bear. The boy bear is going to go on this 20 ounce skinny. I have prepped it by sanding it and spray painting it Rust-Oleum Espresso. It's just a darkish brown color. I think it looks a little darker on camera than it does in person. And then the girl bear is going to go on this wine tumbler. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have this here so I can just kind of reference it, reference the placement. Um, just going to kind of eyeball it and line it up where I want it to go. I'm going to put the bow tie kind of towards the bottom, maybe about three inches up. And then the muzzle is going to go right on top of that. So I'm going to peel off the white backing. I'm going to separate it. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of place it about three inches from the top, just making sure it's straight on here. is glitter this with latte from the glitter guy it's a metallic pretty metallic brown just gonna clear off some 
space. And I do use Mod Podge for my glittering. I'm just going to be using a regular flat bristled one inch paintbrush. And then I'm just going to apply my Mod Podge and I am going to go right up to where I put the double sided adhesive but I'm going to try not to paint too much over that with the Mod Podge just so it's easier to find underneath the glitter and not get stuck under there. So I'm going to go over the edges a little bit. There's no point in going over that entire thing because you're just going to waste your glitter. Because you don't want glitter to go there. And I did put my Mod Podge on kind of thick and I'm just kind of smoothing it out as I go. Got all the brown covered. I've gotten everything glittered. I've got the bow, the muzzle, and the inner ears. For the bow, I used 11 from the Glitter Guy. And for the muzzle and the ears, Sands of Time. For the overall bear, I did Latte. So now, what I'm going to do is seal this with Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Spray. And once that's dry, it will be ready for epoxy. And once it has been epoxy till smooth, we can apply the rest of our decals. I am back with the tumbler all ready for decals. So I did with the first coat of epoxy that I put over the glitter, I sprinkled in this chunky brown, the Cerberus from the Glitter Guy. And I just, as the tumbler was turning, I just lightly hand sprinkled the chunky glitter and then after that layer was cured I did put another thin layer over the chunky just so it's nice and smooth so now it's ready for decals